What is up, everybody? Welcome to another fresh take. Mr. T, how you doing, man? Hey, that booze. What's going on, Jake? All righty. So this is the spoiler filled review of Sonic the Hedgehog. So um, note that I just said spoiler filled. If you are still <laughs> here, that is your business. That's what you need to take up between you and whatever deity you serve. But we finna mm. have a full on discussion about the Sonic the Hedgehog movie. So in my original, but honestly, I mean, <laughs> it's gonna be what you expect. You know, it's not gonna be. Oh my god, you just ruined the movie. Yeah, you, you know what's gonna happen in this movie, even if you haven't seen it yet. Like, like please, come on. <laughs> especially, if you, especially if you have watched any amount of movies. If you've been watching movies since the nineties and you can't tell what's about to happen, <laughs> okay, but you're doing it wrong. Yeah. So, in my original spoiler-free review, I pretty much said that while I think the movie is okay. I say something akin to a rental because we have films that are on Netflix that are like this in yeah. Hulu that are like this. That's my original review. Spoiler free review. T, what was your overall thoughts? Uh, my overall thoughts is it was a good movie. Um, certainly better than I expected. Uh, I went for Jim Carrey and I got old Jim Carrey. So I was very happy with that. Um, I don't know if I could recommend this if you're not like either a super Sonic fanboy or if you don't have a family. Like I, can, I don't know if I can recommend you going to the theater to see it. Um, but you know, it's definitely worth seeing because it's certainly one of the better um, video game movies we've had for sure. So, yeah. Okay, and I'm going to be honest with you. That's why I went Jim Carrey. Um, I right. I am a fan of Jim Carrey, so. And when they showed in the trailer with him, it, his version of Robotnik reminded me of his version of the Cable Guy. And right. I was like, you know what? <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure I'm going to be laughing when he is on the screen. So <laughs> I was like, I can do this. I can I can go and see this. And then when I saw that it was, really wasn't that long, I'm like, oh, hour 35. That's perfect. <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. See, that's I was not... completely surprised by that because I was I didn't I didn't really look at the, the, the any of the because my wife bought the tickets. So I didn't look at the uh you know the time and how long it lasts or anything, the runtime. So I was surprised and the theater's like, oh it's this is almost over. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that was, it didn't overstay its welcome. That that's no. the one thing that I have to say about the movie. It does not overstay its welcome. Now they do take some liberties with some stuff. Now I will give it this that opening when they kill Long Claw, I'm like, okay, y'all went straight Japanese um action movie with this because you know mm -hmm. in, in Japanese films they'll kill they'll kill somebody quick and yeah. not care. <laughs> but did they? Because we didn't actually see it happen. Well, we saw an arrow in the side, and that arrow went deep. Right, and, but what? And it looked, and it did look right. like You're Knuckles did it. It looked, it looked like Knuckles did it. <laughs> yeah. You're not wrong, but. We are talking about, you know, if you're talking about, uh, what do we call it, um, comic book stuff, or are you talking about yeah, anime films? True. Nobody's really dead until they're dead. So yeah. I, they, I, I feel like they left the door open. They might have felt like that when they wrote the script that mm -hmm. mm, one cloth is dead. But I think, you know, they can see, they can say, well, we got an opening to bring, bring her back. So that's true. And then I will say this if they're going to Stranger Things this, then that's fine because the, the rule in Stranger Things is if you don't see your body, they alive. There you go. There you go. <laughs> exactly. But the only thing I can say was because that scene, and you know the scene I'm talking. It's in the first five yeah. minutes of the movie. I'm like, damn the the girl only said two lines. Yeah, but a lot of people. I think I think a lot of people because I haven't heard anybody because I've, I've seen some reviews really talk about Knuckles at all. I think no, but a lot of people Knuckles. missed it. Yeah, yeah like, a lot of people Knuckles. just missed that, I think. I was like, wow, nobody caught that that was Knuckles. Okay. I'm like, okay, Knuckles is a killer. All right. Because <laughs> <laughs> if anybody, I thought, okay, it's going to be Shadow that does it. Mm -hmm. If anything, I'm like, it's going to be Shadow. Nah, this, that's an echidna. That dude's yeah, right. That's, that's an echidna. That yep. dude has spikes on his gloves. That's Knuckles. Because yep. the rest of them didn't have that. <laughs> yeah, but I, and I feel like 95% of the reviews I listen to, completely missed that wow they weren't paying attention so <laughs> so we see that film and that's how he that's that's i guess that's the catalyst you could say for him doing his hopping but apparently he just hopped to green hills montana that pissed me off by the way yeah um, I, I, it, I like the homage but i i, I would like 
Green Hills to be Green Hills. You know? Yeah, I was like, don't so, don't do that. Because he was in Green Hills in the beginning of the damn movie. <laughs> that's, I'm saying, I'm like, that's Green Hills. Like, right. I just played that stage on Smash. No, right. <laughs> so I'm like, dude, come on, man. Don't don't, don't do that. But and, and, and by the way, there was no Green Hills in the actual Green Hills town. Yeah. So that kind of takes a little bit away. But go ahead. That was like a green mountain. <laughs> there was no green hill. <laughs> so green flat. Yeah. So oh, Cyclops flat. It wasn't even green. <laughs> yeah, it really wasn't. <laughs> so the best police officer in this town is Cyclops from X Men, and um mm-hmm. and fine ass <laughs> Tika Sumter. God damn Tika Sumter, fine. She's gorgeous, right? Jesus, got, like, but, um, <laughs> that perfect skin. The lady has yeah. perfect. She does, and perfect yoga moves too. I ain't gonna lie. Like the, yeah, when yeah. Sonic, when Sonic brought that up, that was funny because you see him trying to do it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What did he call her? Oh, uh, the the pretzel lady. Pretzel lady. That's right. That's yeah. Hilarious. So it's the donut lord and the pretzel lady. So <laughs> I like the fact that they were like showing like like having him like run around town and actually like have in his mind he's making friends with everybody but they don't see him <laughs> yeah basically uh a wilson moment from uh what's the uh tom hanks movie the um, castaway castaway like basically he was doing his castaway thing so he didn't go crazy <laughs> yeah. by basically making the entire town wilson so basically and <laughs> at, at first i was like okay man this, this joke gonna get old quick but they found little ways to make it work because once yeah. again, I don't actually don't mind James Mars. I think he's a good actor. I think a lot yeah, of people be, I think a lot of people be kind of like they if you on but I'm like, dude, he's a good actor. He he really is. And yeah. I will he's give him this. Then. I will give him this. If he wants to play Cyclops, hey, MCU, you can get him. He's actually not bad. <laughs> a proper Cyclops, you know, yeah. funny. <laughs> uh, he can he can he can do I think he can do that if you give I think him he can do it, yeah. If you give him a chance, I think he can do that. I know he's like 43 or 44, but he can still pull it off, in my opinion. But, he? I thought he was a little older. Uh, I think he's 43 or 44. I need to check his he, I, me- I remember him saying something about, oh, I grew up with Sonic, but then, then he changed. He was like, well, I was kind of 19 when that game came out. Uh, I yeah. feel like he was talking about Sonic 2. So that yeah, would be yeah. so if he late had, 40s. Yeah, because well, if he was born in 72, he'd be 46 or 47. Right. If he was born in 72. I, I so. think, I'm guessing that's what he's probably 46 yeah. or 7. Either way. Yeah, either way. He he did he, I mean, he does a good job. Isn't Woody Harrelson playing Carnage or something? Like come on. Yeah, so the, the AJ <laughs> doesn't matter. Not. Yeah, AJ right. clearly does not matter. So right. I I enjoyed the, the, the hometown parts of it. Um, but I think that those are a little bit slower until he call until Sonic causes the blackout. Now I do like the when he causes the blackout, they pretty much pull a scene from Sonic Adventure 2 with the military is showing how the military are really stupid. Yeah. Um, really <laughs> they really are really dumb. dumb. Really yeah. dumb. <laughs> and that's when we get the glorious return of our favorite Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey mm. from the 90s. 90s Jim Carrey. <laughs> 90s Jim Carrey. It, on full overacting. over. <laughs> and, but the thing is, the way he Unleashed. overacts... The way he overacts does not piss you off. It makes you laugh. No, it makes you laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Cause the way he because yes, he's the smartest guy in the room. He is the asshole in the room. And you gonna know it. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he, he's like, he's a, he's a genius, you know, and he knows it. And everybody's just just too slow for him to the yeah. point where they annoy him. And I, I yeah. love that. <laughs> and and love the fact it. that he has no problem telling everybody that. Oh yeah, he has no problem with telling you. Yeah, he's the smartest guy in the room. Yeah, and it's, so, it's actually true. Unlike yeah, we, some yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He he, the, the way Jim Carrey does his version of Robotnik, I think it actually works. Mm-hmm. Um, especially and this is Robotnik you, begins, you know. So yeah, this ain't like this ain't Robotnik from Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure Two. Right, just work with him, and, and you'll start seeing. How he is because yes, he's a genius, but he's clearly insane. <laughs> and then, I mean, that is true. That's the fact is that yeah. there is a super thin line between genius and insanity. I mean, that's just a known thing. Yeah. Like, and, if you're a genius, you're right on the edge of insanity. Yeah, it's, and it's I really feel, easy to turn over. I felt so bad for Agent Stone because he kept fucking him up the oh, whole man. movie. Jeez. You know, what Agent Stone remind me of 
Who? Because um, I was probably because I was reaching and watching it. Proctor from the Police Academy. Movie. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a. <laughs> he reach. wasn't. He wasn't as dumb as Proctor, but he yeah, just kind of reminded me of him in the dynamic. But he just kept getting beat up. I'm like, yeah. bro, bro. <laughs> but <laughs> I think that was a part of the stuff that actually like worked because he needed he needed somebody. Look, look. As much as Robotnik acted like he didn't need anybody, he needed somebody. Yeah, yeah. he I mean, needed somebody. All those guys do. Everybody needs their psychic. Yeah, uh, so he, he had his psychic. Now the part of the movie that when they go on the run and they turn it into like a, a road trip movie, kind of. Mm-hmm. It, it's that's when it went tropey. Yeah, I mean, you know, the whole bar scene. I'm guessing that's what yeah. you're talking about too. Yeah, because yeah, like, they kind of. I'm sorry, but X Men did it better. X Men: Days of Future Past did that scene better. I mean, I mean, they were never going to do it better than X Men. Yeah, um, <laughs> I'm like that. Uh, and you know how I feel about the X Men movies, but yeah, that but that they, scene is iconic and yeah, <laughs> and they did they t- they did they spin on it. Yeah, they did best they could. I thought they did it pretty. Yeah, pretty it, 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 but I was like, we've seen this, y'all. So much better. <laughs> yeah, we've seen this. I mean, you can't really do this in. We know how this you can't works. Do this with a CG character. Yeah, like, have it feel, you know. But I thought it was good for what they did. I thought it was a, you know, they did the best they could, and yeah. I thought it was okay. And the other good thing about it was Sonic making the jokes. If Sonic didn't make those jokes, then it, it right. wouldn't work. It, it really wouldn't have worked. So shout, shout outs to Sonic. I, he didn't get annoyed. I was so worried. That he made quippy, just you know, fake edgy nonsense, you know, kind of lines. They reined him in. They he was reined in. He was funny. Uh, I, I, it was heartfelt. Like I, I, I had the feels for him on yeah. certain scenes, and I was like, "This is really working for me." It was two scenes in particular: the baseball scene mm, that got me, and this, the, the baseball scene and the scene at the end where. He couldn't where they, where I like the rip that they did from um if Sonic Adventure Two where he showed you like him racing the pyramid doing yeah. France and I like that and I, that that scene at the end where he was just like I don't these people are my family and he just got up I like okay uh, I that, got that, goosebumps yeah that got me I'm like that one in the in the scene at the baseball field now and here's I the thing be, movies like this I just want to say movies like this it's really easy. To go way overboard, cheesy, oh, yes. corny with that stuff, and they Smurfs. never did. Smurfs. Oh God! <laughs> <laughs> too, too sappy, too ch- corny, too cheesy. Yeah. yeah, but this movie never did that ever. It didn't even come close. Yeah, it, it like, did. The, yes. Just right when it was about to get a little much, they they switched the scene. They out. pulled right out of there. Yeah, yeah. So, but like the the stuff they were doing with Sonic with him, like he. You kind of fell for him because, like, dude, he has nobody. The only person he knows that that the way we saw it is how he saw it. Mm-hmm. It's pretty much gone, <laughs> and right. that was the only person he had. So, yeah, this small town, he likes everybody in the town, but they don't know him. The only person who knows is the crazy guy who he keeps messing with, <laughs> which yeah. was funny. They, if, <laughs> I, if I had one gripe, and this is my one gripe, and it's weird because you would think. Most people probably wouldn't care about this. And I, I can understand if people would not. Mm-hmm. That's my one gripe is that um, you never felt the reason, or you never got a chance anyway, because the movie was moving so fast, probably. Yeah. Uh, to feel like, oh, why would he want to leave? You know, that he didn't have a, like annoying things happen to him, you know, yeah. small town annoying things that happen to him constantly for, for you to feel like, oh, yeah, I can understand why he would want to leave and try the big city. That was the only thing, and but and that's not even that's not even a Sonic thing. Like the main character is Sonic, so it wasn't even about him. It was just about James Marsden's character and that, um, him being the sheriff. That that was the only thing that was like eh, I didn't really feel like. I don't you know, think anybody bought that. I don't think anybody yeah. bought that. Like it, it would have been different if it would have been like okay, his wife had some had something that yeah, you know, once in a lifetime job or something. But they didn't. They, she wasn't even push like if she was like pushing him, saying. I'm ready to move on and go yeah. to the big city. Or she didn't even. She wasn't even like that. No, she was, so she was a super wife. <laughs> she yeah, was like, she, whatever you want to do, honey. That's what yeah, we're doing. Super supportive. And I'm, like, and I'm, and I'm just yeah. sitting there like, okay, so you want to be a re- you are a real cop. So what? Yeah. The what, what are you missing, I, bro? Yeah. What, what? I'm like, bro. You wouldn't. I don't think going to San Francisco is going to help you out. It's probably going to drive you no. crazy. Yeah, that was only. It's like, oh, I want to 
be on the go to the city and save people. Like yeah. I didn't feel that. That was the only. That was my only like negative. I think. Yeah, yeah, because it didn't it didn't work. And that one throwaway line about him wanting to save you, like, dude, that that's why like, I didn't get mad when Sonic was getting mad at him about it. I'm like, because right. it made no sense. Maybe that's what they were thinking. They were like, well, me, when Sonic comes back at him and says, yeah, this is stupid. Why would you want to leave? Maybe that's why they didn't pound it home to why he shouldn't want to leave. Because okay. they wanted Sonic to have that moment. Maybe that's what they were thinking. So, well, that If that's the case, then that makes sense. Because Yeah, that makes sense if that's the case. <laughs> Yeah, because like the other the the part in it, I'm like, dude, that really doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Like, you're not doing a good job with this particular plot point. Now, I will say this: I did love her sister. Oh, her sister was perfect. Was perfect <laughs> like, I'm like, hold <laughs> on, nah, you hate this man for what reason? <laughs> Just because he married your sister? Come on, man. Right. I mean, she was that character. You know, there's all it is usually a friend or something like that that just yeah. doesn't like the guy. You know, period. Yeah, so that was a trope. <laughs> But she yeah. was she was good at it. She was good in it, and she nailed it. Yeah. She, nailed she nailed it. it yeah. So she, um, she was funny. She was you know spot on. I thought. Now the other thing too is I I, I will say this um, as somebody who enjoys so, certain amounts of the Sonic games. I'm not a Sonic head, but I do like Sonic Adventure One, Two. I love Sonic Lost World. I still think they should do a sequel to that. I even mm-hmm. like the storybook games, um, Sonic and the Secret Rings and Sonic and the Black Knight. I love those. I don't like I said, I don't like all of them. Colors. But I, just, I like I thought I thought colors was okay. You know another game that I like that I know a lot mm. of people hate it. What? But I actually kind of like Forces. I never played Forces. I, outside of the character creation thing that that was completely stupid. I actually like Forces. <laughs> yeah, it's funny I hear that. Like I hear people who just absolutely hate it, but I hear people that love it too. Yeah, so so I, it's, I this is just one of those games that either hit you or Yeah, you it's kind of it. like <laughs> You know, it's kind of like colors in that way, where like a, a lot of people that like they had the we we loved colors mm-hmm. because yeah. of how they used it, but some people they just couldn't get into it. That's why they enjoyed like well, Unleashed. I like, hated Unleashed. They didn't, they didn't like the Wii stuff that had the yeah. like, camo colors, probably. So basically, yeah. But it was a fun game though. So uh, yeah, I thought it was dope. So I I actually liked that aspect of it. I do like the shots that they threw at um, Fast and Furious because Fast and Furious needs to get as many shots as possible because it's stupid. seriously. It's so <laughs> um, I did like the shot that they threw at um, Mario at the first beginning. Oh, that was that was great. And then, I, yeah, it, I knew it was coming. Shot? They kept going back to that. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, come on, dude. <laughs> like, that's kind of <laughs> that's that's uh, what's uh, tough, dude. So that, that, Mario are friends now. Stop it. Yeah, like that was messed up. So I'm expecting in the Mario movie next year, there's yeah. gonna be some pot shots back to Sonic. It's so, like, oh, you got the better movie right now, but I have the better games. Yeah, <laughs> so it's gonna be something. <laughs> Something's gonna be said. But uh, yeah. I, I actually like that, and and I have to give shout out to the CG department. They yeah. did a good job because I was that was the other thing I was because you know how these movies mm-hmm. go. Most right, times the CG right. be good at the in the first act and the second act, but that last act is horrible. No, this CG yeah. was consistent throughout. Yes, and let's thank God that they did do what the fans wanted them to do. Oh, fix, fix Sonic. Because I'm think I'm I'm going back over the movie in my head, thinking about that old Sonic and how it. Oh, that would have been. Horrible. It would have been awful. It yeah. would have been just jarring and just terrible. And I'm yeah. so glad that they they actually listened to the fans. They spent that extra five mil well, and got it fixed. Well, that's the good thing about that though is the fact because I remember when we first talked about that. I knew they had to be like more designs than just that humanoid looking crazy. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm glad they went with this one. Now, uh, the final fight at the end with Robotnik and uh, Sonic, I like that. I mm-hmm. liked how they did it. And I like that they used a lot of different games, how he would fight, because they did Sonic Pink This Ball. movie, surprised, <laughs> it had some big action scenes, like the final yeah. scene, especially. Like, I was, I was really surprised by that. I didn't think. Uh, you know, it was in the budget or it was in the style of this uh, movie to do so, but it had some nice action, some really yeah, good I, action scenes. And, and it's it's not like just one or two set pieces; it's like seven. No, it's like seven. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> it's like seven set pieces in there. Um, and I think they in, did a, in an hour thirty five minute movie, so that lets you know this movie is moving. And and the thing that I like about that is it reminds me of the action films of the nineties where we didn't have to sit mm. in the theater two and a half hours to get a good action movie. You could do a good action right. movie in an hour and a half. You got your story, hours. you weren't bogged down by it, and mm-hmm. you got your action especially. Simplicity. Yeah. It's simplicity. 
and the, the, the other thing that's good about this, I don't think people have really mentioned this either, is that because it's an hour 35, that means more plays during the day. And I think that helped in that box mm-hmm. office. You know, yep. like I think that helped being that quick and get you in and out. When you can put in three more shows, but mm-hmm. uh, other movies can't. And I don't want to say the other movie because people have been mad about it. I'm yeah. not going to say that. But when you can't because you over two hours and this one can, that's they're going to get more money. Yeah. They just it going to, and, and then on top of that, word of mouth is is it doesn't suck. Yeah, <laughs> right. And okay, so we got to talk about that mid credit scene, and that that was one of my main uh, pissed people off. People lost moments. their mind in my theater. I don't know. People lost their mind in my theater. Though. I was pissed off, mad because I'm like, he should have been in the whole damn movie. Yes, yeah, I, but I'm glad. Shows up. <laughs> I'm, yeah. I'm I'm okay that he did because I know they're setting up a, a nice sequel. I mean, they're setting up full on Robotnik for one. Yeah, most likely, thank God. Most, right? <laughs> most likely, we're going to get Knuckles and Tails. So I yeah. think that's a lot to look forward to in a sequel. I, I'm glad they didn't cram Tails in. I, I think it would have took away from Sonic story. So yeah. I'm, I'm I'm happy with it. But here's here's my one problem: do, do, Are we going to have to sit through them becoming friends? I don't want to sit Probably. through them in the second movie, man. But he knows them. He already knows them. Obviously, yeah. That's so, why I was like, I don't want to sit through because you know we have we're gonna have to waste the first what is the first act, first thirty minutes mm-hmm. try having to establish that. I'm like, okay, dude. You think I, so? You think they're gonna spend that much time? I don't think. I so. I hope not. I, I hope not. <laughs> I'm, I'm erring on the side of caution here <laughs> because I want to because that that was my thing. I'm like, because he kept saying like, I've always been by myself. I'm like, what about tails? I'm like, where your best yeah. friend at? Yeah. <laughs> like, where, where's your true best friend at? Because I'm sorry, it ain't. Uh, the donut lord and the press lady. It's a little right. fox that has pretty much the same powers you you do, except he can fly instead of run. And he's right. a genius, but not crazy. <laughs> <laughs> so the the killer is though. How is Robotnik gonna get back? Yeah. Well, you know he's gonna get back, and yeah. he's a genius, and he's already he was already plotting at the end of the the, the, yeah, the rock movie to, to get back. <laughs> right. Rock kind of sound like oh oh god. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I, I feel for Stone when when he comes back. Age of Stone, I feel for him, man. Oh, I feel oh, for Age of Stone when he comes back. <laughs> so, do you, do you think with Robotti, you think they're gonna make him more Eggman? You know, or I you think, think they're gonna leave it like he is? I think they're gonna leave him the like movie. he is because they yeah. gonna need, they need Jim Carrey to be animated. Yeah, the animated Jim Carrey is is the best Jim Carrey. But so, I think you can get because I was looking at him. I was like, you can get away with giving him a, a bit of a gut. You know, nothing. Yeah, that, like, they'll probably put like, like a, they'll, they'll probably put like something over his stomach, but I don't think they're gonna go full right. on fat suit. No, 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 no. I, I was just thinking a gut. I was just thinking yeah. like yeah. like oh, the yeah, Grinch yeah. or something. Yeah, you know, he had a gut in the Grinch. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what I think. That's what I think they're probably gonna want because he kind of like tried to stick it out at the end. Yeah, he yeah. Was walking, but it wasn't working <laughs> really. Yeah. So I think if anything, they're probably just gonna put like a pad over it just to make it yeah. the and little I, pot. And belly. I can see where they can make a good little joke out of it. Like, yeah. He he's not very active. He hasn't, he's been working mostly, and so he's packed on some pounds. Yeah, which, uh, which, which and and that will be something that Agent Stone would got give him crap for, and it just right. <laughs> it would just be funny. <laughs> I, I think it would be funny. So the the thing is, so um, I read somewhere that like they're gonna we know Tails is gonna be in it, but mm-hmm. somebody was saying should Amy be in it? I'm like no, 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 no leave no. Amy and Cream and all them out of it. Leave them out of it. <laughs> it needs to be because we don't have time for that. Maybe we ain't got time three. for that. Yeah, yeah. If you get a part three, maybe do it then. But yeah. not if not you want to do because if you want to do a three, fine. But make sure you get two two down first. Yeah. Like don't three. You can go all out because it's probably not going to be a four. So yeah, you just right. go all yeah. out in three. <laughs> yeah, and it, it doesn't it, work. Oh well, this is the last one. We got our money, yeah. and that's when you can bring in Shadow. Right. I don't know how you're gonna bring in Shadow, but you can bring in Shadow. (laughs) Good luck bringing him in in a a way that doesn't make people go. (sighs) It doesn't make people roll their eyes. (laughs) Because right now I'm just like, because I was thinking about it, like, because how they brought him in in Sonic Adventure Two made sense, Mm -hmm. but they've set none of that up in these movies. So, um, yeah, because that's that's how you set up Part Three with Shadow. Yeah, because it had to be Shadow. So just don't, just please, God, don't go to the moon. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, please don't go through the moon. That worked mm-hmm. in the video game because it was a, it was it's a video game that's not going to work in real life. But I do want to see a giant mech robotnik though. I do. I do want to see a giant mech. We can put that in too though. 
Yeah, yeah. Giant Mick Robotnik. We, in the I city. They, you can put him in the city, you know. Now, now <laughs> let me ask you this. Since they were in San Francisco, were you mad that they didn't use the uh, get out of uh, uh, the, the first part of uh, the city escape from uh, yeah, like, Sonic Adventure 2? I'm like, how did they, you I was were thinking, there. Like, are going to do it? You were right there. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you're right there. Like, because especially when they had him surfing on the drones yeah. on the highway, I'm like, oh, they're going to do that. When they said they were yep. going to I'm like, oh, they're going to do it. They're going to do City Escape. No, <laughs> they didn't. I'm like, no. you kind of missed the boat <laughs> on yeah. that. Like, on that had... note, one of my favorite things about this movie is they set up Sonic to be like, he's a superhero. And yeah. I like that. I did like that. Yeah. Like he's supposed to be. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I, I get, I, I kind of get that. Now, um, like I said, once again, I'm still sticking by what my overall. Like I said, because we the, here's the problem with with movies now that we're gonna that we're going to run into. A lot of this stuff is gonna be like, man, I have a 65 inch TV at my crib that's 4K, mm. and I and I got Disney Plus and Netflix and Hulu. Um, Netflix and Hulu have great movies. Yeah, I ain't got to go to the what, theater. <laughs> what are you gonna do to get me to peel my? My yeah. behind off this couch. Yeah, because I'm sorry, but Six Underground, while it was a Michael Bay movie, it works mm. for that. For, yeah, for yeah. That. I, I wouldn't have went to the movies to see that at yeah, all. I, I wouldn't have, but, but at home, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah. it's a, um, great, it's a good little action movie, that, yeah. you know. Uh, another one, home. Bright. Bright is another Bright. one. I yeah. would not have went to the theater to see that, but at yeah. home, it's perfect. Sonic yep. the Hedgehog, I'm being honest, while it was a good movie, and I'm glad it's good, I don't have to be at the theater to see that. Yeah. So what and, are you going to do? It made its money. So yeah. it can also do really well. I know it's going to do really well streaming. Yo, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, heck yeah. So my question is this. What are you going to do for part two to make me? Because I'm like, if you do the same thing you did in one, uh, I can probably wait. <laughs> you know? Make it a little bigger. What was the budget for this one? Like 85 mil. You know, 85, 85 million. million. So you yeah. pushed the budget up to about 120, 125. Yeah, and you bring in, you know, you bring in uh, Mecha Robotnik. <laughs> I mean, I think that, yeah, um, up the CG a little bit, you know, just make it a little bit more grander, and uh, I think that that would, you know, I mean, sure, they, you got to add something else in there that I can't yeah. think of right now, but yeah, I, that that's the other, the only other thing that I could think of, and like, uh, it would need to be something like that. And mm-hmm. and that and you know what that's perfect because that way you could get both Sonic and Tails working together, right? Because Tails obviously is the tech guy, so he can bring in, you know, all that stuff, and yeah, they can combat them that way. Yeah, and hopefully they'll do like another, uh, another. The the rings can do other things other than just. What's the robotic Sonic? Them? What's a uh, Metal Sonic? Metal Sonic, right? Well, you can introduce Metal Sonic or something. That, that's mm-hmm. true. That that's true. Because once again, the way they had Jim Carrey play Robotnik, I would think he would do that because he still has the quill, right? So, I, I'm I, pretty sure that's where they're going. I think that's yeah. they're already thinking about that. So, and let's let's be honest, let's be real. Back in the '90s, they did have a 65 minute movie where they actually introduced Metal Sonic. That right. movie kind of is kind of horrible, but. Yeah, well, <laughs> but, it's I a mean, '90s animated film for TV. Yeah. What do you want? <laughs> yeah, so, so what? Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, you've watched the He-Man and She-Ra Christmas special. Go watch oh, that. Boy. You watch oh, both. Geez. Go watch that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not gonna kill you, okay? <laughs> so yeah, but um, th- that's it for this. Um, I just I, I wanted to talk to T about this film because like we're both gamers so Mm -hmm. to actually see a a a video game movie done with actual respect for a change Mm. and and not like and respect before you get to the theater they respect sonic they respected the fans and yeah yeah. it's okay to respect the fans look what happens yeah we pay you back that's what happened i i I would not not have gone to see this movie had they kept that hideous sonic in it (laughs) yeah oh hell no yeah, not, I would not gonna see it. I said, okay, they did what I wanted them to do. Basically, now I have to, you know, keep up my end of the bargain by going to see it. And that's yeah. That, I think that a lot of people did that. Yeah, and that's why it won this weekend. It's probably gonna win. Uh, this it's gonna weekend win this weekend well. too. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> um, this yeah. is what happens when you come out in a dead month, and for yeah. some reason, all these horror movies want to come out. Uh, I don't. Happens. They do the a PG-13 lot. They do that horror all the time. Movies. 
So nobody yeah. wants to see horror movies at this time of year. I don't think. Yeah, I, I don't. Yeah, bad. especially PG thirteen ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Blumhouse. Um. So. <laughs> yeah, Blumhouse. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I enjoyed it. I still think it's it's. If, if I'll put it to you like this, if you are a parent and your kids want to go see it, you can go see it with them, and you won't be rolling your eyes looking at your wife. Oh, it, yeah, it's it's very watchable for yeah. adults who yeah. don't even care about Sonic. I think you you'll still have a lot of fun. It's got good like it's got good heart, and it's not overly cheesy or overly sentimental. And I think you'll have a good time. And Jim Carrey, all, all the adults I was watching in the theater had were having fun. Yeah, Jim Carrey is gonna make you laugh. Oh you yeah, don't Jim laugh Carrey's at something he do. Everything he did, and people were just dying in the theater. Yeah. So I'm like, it was even, great. even if you try to be one of them people that don't laugh at nothing, Jim Carrey gonna make you chuckle. At, I, I know two parts he gonna make you chuckle at. <laughs> I know two of them. One of them involves Sonic pushing uh, James Mars and Tika something off the side of a building. That part <laughs> where he said was funny. That I was rolling. I missed yeah. a lot of words after that because I was dying. So yeah. And the second part is when he's uh, when he's doing that dance. Oh man, that I'm like, <laughs> wow, bro. okay, Jim Carrey. I right, walked in on him like, uh, <laughs> like he was doing something else. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, okay, Jim Carrey, you bringing in that in living color, you know. Yeah. Acting, I miss though. that Jim Carrey. I miss yeah. him. Glad he's he's back to form. Yeah. So and, and it's kind of like he never left doing it, right. even though we've seen him do like a. He has incredible range, by the way. But oh yeah, he. He it's doesn't get nice. credit for it, but he has incredible range. Yeah. It's nice to see him back to that 90s era of Jim Carrey where you know you're going to go to the theater and he's going to make you laugh at yeah. something. I mean, it, this is the first way I was introduced to Jim Carrey. This, he's, you know, this quirky, crazy, off the wall kind of stuff that he does. The, <laughs> Ace Ventura. I mean, he, was, he, like, he was doing an interview about, the, about this movie and he, was, he talked about like playing the Grinch and he just made the Grinch face like that. And I was yeah. like, I thought that was makeup. <laughs> that was nope. his face. That was him. This dude is amazing. What he can yeah. do to his own body, the, the expressions he can make, it's crazy. Because there was one interview, and this is the last thing I'm going to say about it, there was one interview where I was seeing last week where they brought in some animals, and he went right into Ace Ventura while doing the Sonic <laughs> interview and right back out of Ace Ventura. I'm like, oh, man. Now, I want, now I want to see him as Ace Ventura again, dude. Like, don't, don't. <laughs> and, oh, this I was I was watching the interview. This made me so happy. I was so excited to hear. He said when he was a kid, he used to you know perform for his family and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And he did this thing where he would fall down the stairs when somebody came in, and he just lay there. And people thought he was done. They were freaking out. <laughs> and he 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 hold his head up and go. Let's see that in a replay. And I was like, he put that in Ace Ventura. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what he used to do as a kid, I thought that was so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Jim Carrey's a national treasure. He has to be protected <laughs> at all costs. But yes, yes. <laughs> but yeah, um, go out if you if you if you want to, like like I said, you don't have to go see this movie. You really don't. But if you just want to laugh, go to a matinee, because it's gonna have like eight, 18 shows at your theater. Go to a matinee. <laughs> <laughs> Watch it. You ain't gonna have to pay that much and just enjoy it. And like I said, if you got kids, it's a plus because you're not gonna be in there rolling your eyes, wishing it was over. It moves at a really good clip, and you won't. It's not gonna be like I wasted my money. Right. So I, that, that's, I think you'll have fun. Yeah. So uh, that's it for this fresh take. We will see you guys on the next one. Peace out, peeps. Peace. <laughs>